St. Thomas the Apostle is known especially in the countries of India, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan because he is the patron saint. And he's also the patron saint of architects, surveyors, constructors, builders, and those who are making their homes, houses. And we have seen in the gospel, Thomas and Jesus. He's known in the gospel as the doubting Thomas because he doubted of the resurrected Christ. The first time that Jesus appeared to his apostles, to his disciples, Thomas would not believe because he said, unless I see him, I, unless I touch him, I, unless I put my, my hands into his wounds, I refuse to believe. The second time around when Jesus appeared to the apostles and this time Thomas was there. And uh, it was to Thomas that Jesus was so particular that he, he told Thomas, put your finger here, look here are my hands. Give me your heart, put it into my side. Doubt no longer but believe. That's why He's called the Doubting Thomas. He doubted because for him to see is to believe. Now, Jesus would tell not only Thomas, but the rest of the world, happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. And perhaps we belong to those generations who believe in Jesus, who believe in the resurrected Christ, yet we have not seen him. The historical Christ was 2,000 years ago. But because of the gift of faith, we believe. And remember, faith is a gift. And faith is a given even in our weakened humanity. Faith is given in our weakness. And in Thomas, the apostle, Jesus has seen his weakness. And because of that, the Lord has given him something, that beautiful gift of faith, of courage to accept the Lord. So that from then on, Thomas believed and he became one of the great apostles of Jesus. He started to work for evangelization, proclaiming the good news, going to as far as India. In fact, in many parts of India, especially in that southern part of India, the region of Kerala, there are a lot of people named Thomas. The town's called Thomas. I know a lot of people from that region. Whenever I ask them about their names, I would ask them, are you Thomas? And I'm almost 50% or 60% right, because a lot of them are Thomas. And you can see the influence of St. Thomas in the world, in evangelization. So today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we are gathered here, let us pray for our continuous evangelization, continuous mission to proclaim the good news, the word of Jesus, the word of God. We have the inspiration of St. Thomas, that despite his weakness, God give him, give him strength and give him the courage to proclaim that Jesus is my Lord and my God. May God bless us all.